What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the online jamly? This, of course, here is Jamir Fan 2000 with another episode of the Quiecast Podcast, a Jamir Quiet Podcast for the jamly by the jamly. This episode 7 will be taking care of the months of May through July of 2022, where I'll be reading off the latest news concerning the band members, the band Jamiroquai, and everything that is Jamiroquai related. You might notice that in this episode of the QuietCast podcast that I'm going to be repeating the news items from the May episode of the QuietCast podcast. Well, I'm going to be reading that news off again in this episode because I neglected on uploading that episode or that monthly episode of the QuietCast podcast onto Anchor FM and Spotify due to me transferring over to a brand new recording computer. The following news items are updated as the date of the recording of this episode of the QuietCast podcast for July 27th, 2022. It was recently announced that Sandbox, a leading decentralized gaming virtual world and a subsidiary of Amico Brands, announced uh, earlier this year that they have partnered with Jamiroquai, among other music and mainstream mainstays, the seminal jazz funk band led by JK, to bring bring the group's free-spirited essence to the sandbox. A full press release of this announcement is currently available on their official website. The strategic collaboration was developed in association with Bravado, music, music, uh, Universal Music Group's industry-leading brand management division, part virtual real estate, part amusement park. The sandbox in fully embraces the idea of the metaverse as a continued shared digital space where worlds and heroes can collide to make magic. Jamaica White Jones over 200 existing partnerships, including Ubisoft, The Rabbids, Gucci, Gucci Vault, The Walking Dead, Snoop Dogg, Adidas, The Smurfs, Care Bears, Atari, Zepito, and Crypto, uh, Crypto Kitties, all following the Sandbox team's core vision of empowering players to create their own experience through both using both original and well-known characters and worlds. More information about this collaboration can be found, um, can be, or the Jamiroquai portion of the Sandbox is currently still under construction, but there have been regular updates, and apparently there will be more updates forthcoming about this upcoming collaboration between Jamiroquai. Jamiroquai and the Sandbox, and also in, in a bit of a uh, in a bit of a related piece of news, it, they coincide with the recent collaboration announcement between Jamiroquai and the Sandbox. Uh, a six pieces of limited edition merchandise, half of which are for the Jamiroquai Sandbox collaboration, and the other half featuring three new T-shirts design called the Cosmic Collection, have gone up on the Jamiroquai official store currently for sale. Uh, the uh, Jamiroquai uh, Sandbox uh, merchandise went for sale on July 1st of 2022, with the Cosmic T-shirts going up for sale on July 14th. They're all readily available currently right now on the official Jamiroquai store, but there is two pieces of updates about this concerned merchandise that I thought I'd pass on. The first of which is the keychain that is part of the Jamiroquai, the Sandbox, uh, three pieces of merchandise. That release date of that piece of merchandise has been pushed back to August 26th of 2022. Also concerning the Cosmic collection of the three T-shirts designs that I before mentioned in the last news item. The Dimensions t-shirt, which has been a very well sell, a very popular seller of the three t-shirt offerings of these new merchandise releases, uh, the largest size of that t-shirt is currently sold out, but all the other sizes of this t-shirt are readily available, also also, also including the other two t-shirt designs from sizes small all the way up to X, uh, double X large. With the Music by Matt Johnson was just recently reissued earlier back in May of 2022 in a special blue-colored vinyl reissue and also in a regular vinyl edition and in a signed edition by uh, Matt Johnson himself. And the, the album is currently available for sale over on Matt Johnson's official Bandcap pre-order page. A new, mus- a new Apple Music official playlist came out called Made for Spatial, which featured a Jamiroquai's own single virtual insanity enhanced in the new spatial audio format that was developed by the fine folks at Dolby Atmos. This playlist is currently available over on the Apple Music uh, website, and you can check out audio samples of virtual insanity and all of the music under new spatial audio format by Dolby Atmos. Jamaica Weiss Matt Johnson recently did two new Sound on Sound podcast episodes, an interview episode, and a tutorial episode entitled Keyboard Processing Tips with Matt Johnson of Jamiroquai. Both of these contents are I'm sorry, both of these podcast episodes are currently available on demand over at the Sound on Sound website. In a uh, more uh, music collaboration news, uh, Matt Johnson of Jamiroquai recently hooked up with Matt Latari, who is a band member of the popular uh, funk uh, bands uh, Snarky Puppy and the Fearless Flyers, on a brand new single called Rescue Me. This new collab single between Matt Johnson and, of course, Matt Latari of, uh, of Snarky Puppy and the Fearless Flyers is currently available for streaming on all major streaming platforms, including YouTube. 
Um, during the past weekend of uh, May 7th, uh, 2022, J.K. of Jamiroquai joined other car enthusiasts um, driving up in his lovely Ocean Jade Porsche 993 turbo car at the JZM Cars and Coffee event. Um, you can check out pictures and other media from that said event with J.K. and all the other car enthusiasts over on the dual uh, subreddits of the online Jamly on Reddit at R. Jamiroquai and R. The Reddit Jamly. In a message... Um, in a message from uh, Derek McKenzie of Jamiroquai, the very talented drummer and resident DJ of the band, uh, ba- uh, Derek McKenzie announced that he would be doing an international band camp in the country of Hungary in the city of Balaton between the days of August 25th to 28th of August of 2022. More information for anybody who wants to attend this online and in-person um, international drum camp is available at uh, send your uh, information for registration and much more at Marco Drum Farm at gmail.com uh, in a most recent interview by the uh, prominent uh, musical uh, prognosticator and one of the kookiest people you've ever seen in music appreciation, Nardwar. Nardwar, in a bit of a fourth interview, uh, hooked up with the very popular MC and very, very talented Tyler the Creator for a 2022 interview at a record store. In the tail end of that uh, that video interview with Tyler the Creator, uh, it just so happened that Nardwar had asked the guy who owns the record store if he had any Jamiroquai. And that led into a very awesome, whimsical conversation conversation with Tyler the Creator about his love for the band Jamiroquai, his love for the 25th anniversary reissue of Trying On Moving, and much more Jamiroquai-related conversations as well. Be sure to check out that great interview between Nardwar and Tyler the Creator from 2022 over on his respective YouTube channel on YouTube. Uh, and a bit of an update from the recent news of Jamiroquai being one of the co-headliners at the new uh, uh, the new music festival being uh, founded in Malaga, Spain. Of course, I'm talking about the Andalusia Big Festival. Uh, it was reported that the three-day festival tickets are currently on sale right now, but it's still to be announced on when single tickets for this uh, music festival that will be happening in September, which Jamiroquai being a co-headliner will happen. But the uh, three-day t- festival tickets are running between 125 to 250 euros, and you can get them get them get your tickets for yourself at AndalusiaBigTickets.com. Com. In a bit of reissue news, uh, Jamiroquai's first two albums, 1993's Emergency Planet Earth and Jamiroquai's second album, 1994's The Return of the Space Cowboy, recently just got a UK vinyl reissue over in the UK, and, and these albums are currently available for the Juno through the journal Juno Records UK website. Um, then a special uh, two LP uh, gatefold heavyweight ish, uh, issued vinyls. Uh, I just so happened to have uh, pre-ordered and did a review of my own copy of Jamiroquai's reissue for 2022 of the Return of Space Cowboy and Vinyl. So be sure to check out my unboxing over on my YouTube channel. And if you'd like more information on ordering your own reissue of the first two Jamiroquai albums, be sure to consult the links uh, down below at juno.co.uk. Uh, Jamiroquai's Derek McKenzie was amongst a bunch of other drum, drummer luminaries recently participating in the Drumathon Live 2022 event to help raise funds for mental health charities, which apparently went on, um, which transpired during the week of, of May 14th through the 21st of 2022, and apparently was a very, very big success. Not to mention, Derek McKenzie of Jamiroquai was nice enough to upload his full drum performance, an over one hour drum performance from the Drumathon Live 2022, onto YouTube. So be sure to check out that great performance by Derek McKenzie from Drumathon Live 2022 over on YouTube. Now we're going to be moving on to news from the months of June and July of 2022. It was recently announced that J.K. will be a guest on the BBC Radio 2 Mixing Influences uh, radio show, in this case with Jamiroquai, which will be transpiring on August 20th of 2022 at, I believe, either 1 a.m. or 1 p.m. British Standard Time. More information about this uh, radio interview, which was recorded, can be found at the BBC Radio 2 official website. The recently released Jamiroquai plus Junya uh, Junya Watanabe Man Fall Winter 2022 through 2023 fast clothing line is apparently now on sale in Singapore at the Club 21 Man High End Fashion Shop. Um, but it should be noted that um, a lot of these pieces of very rare merchandise and clothing line are not available for online sale yet. But if this does change, I'll be sure to report more information and more links to when the uh, Jamiroquai slash Junya Watanabe Man Fall winter 2022-23 closing line will be available for online sale. 
Jamiroquai's Wise classic single feels just like it should is currently included as part of the Episode 4 soundtrack for the recently released new Netflix series Resident Evil, which is based on the popular horror game video game series. You can check out that series for yourself and check out that great sequence from Episode 4 of Feels Just Like It Should during an amazing uh, zombie battle um, over on the Netflix uh, media streaming platform. Musical artist Ode Noor has just released his lead single from his upcoming new album entitled Hot Mess, featuring guest appearances from Jamiroquai band members Derek McKenzie and Matt Johnson of Jamiroquai. That new single, as I noted, of Hot Fuss is currently available on all music, major music streaming platforms, so check out that single when you can in your own time. The, multi, uh, the talented multi-instrumentalist Christopher Mayas, who have, I've really loved the cover work of from over the years in the online jam well, he just recently released a new covers album called Recovered, which also features a great cover of a Jamiroquai song and a cover of a good song by the Headhunters. That new uh, covered covers album called Recovered from Christopher Mayas is currently available on all, readily available for listen on all the music streaming platforms, including YouTube and Spotify. The bands Tronic and Brother Strut, which feature, features band members of Jamiroquai, are currently on respective uh, sporadic tours in the UK during the months of June and July through 2022. If you'd like to check out some of the pictures and videos emanating from some of those great concerts between Tronic and the Brother Strut, be sure to keep your eyes on both of the subreddits on the online Jamly at rjamiroquai and Jamly for further content, pictures, and more details. By the way, in a little bit of a subreddit update, a major import subreddit update, over on my subreddit of the R the Reddit Jamly, uh, after a lot of work, I have imported my expansive wiki, uh, wiki page of invaluable band information, full with a full Jamiroquai discography, videography, dem works, and all kinds of information about the band. Yeah, I have, I've imported that whole section from the original R Jamiroquai wiki page over to my subreddit at R the Reddit Jamly, so be sure to check out the wiki page there when you can for more information, more invaluable information about the amazing 30 years of musical history of the band Jamiroquai. JK is currently listing a Scottish hideaway uh, for over £500,000 or uh, or $750,000 of money, according to published tabloid reports. So if you're interested in potentially buying a Scottish hideaway home that JK used to live in, be sure to check out the following tabloid links um, for yourself to get more information on potentially buying a JK's uh, hideaway up in the country of Scotland. A, a high-end clothing line by the name of Ships out of Japan recently collaborated with the band Jamiroquai on a limited run of four-color Jamiroquai Buffalo Man t-shirts that were only for sale in the country of Japan. Pictures of these new colored shirts from Ships and Jamiroquai's collaboration were found all over Instagram, but apparently those shirts are not currently available for sale anymore given that they were a limited run of t-shirts. So be sure to check out those great pictures of those limited run of great colored Buffalo Man t-shirts that were sold by Ships and by Jamiroquai in the country of Japan. Solo Akimba Love Jamiroquai has been working on a new solo album for the last few months of the summer. has been issuing updates of the progress of his uh, said solo album that is still in recording and still in work over on his respective Instagram account during the months of June and July of 2022. So be sure to check the be sure to check the subreddits of the online Jamly for further pictures, videos, and everything from Sola and his work in the studio working on his new solo album. Uh, in several band member appearances and other people's music, uh, a lot of the band members of Jamiroquai have been omnipresent in a lot of other artists' music, and here's a rundown of some of the most recent collaborations that uh, have come across my news table. The first of which was a single by LF System uh, featuring Rob Harris of Jamiroquai on guitar and bass, and a single called Afraid to Feel. Uh, the next two songs of, was a collaboration between Derek McKenzie, or should I say he showed up to contribute drums onto two new singles from a group called ABC Dialect, one song called Easy featuring Loverground, and the other single called Our Love featuring Delaflor, and both of those singles feature Derek McKenzie of Jamiroquai on drums. And in the final piece of uh, Jamiroquai band member collaborative uh, influence, uh, Derek McKenzie of Jamiroquai, who, as I prefaced, is a hell of an amazing drummer and an uh, exceptional DJ in his own right, recently did his own Derek McKenzie remix of a single by Frank Savannah and Vanessa Jackson on a song called I Have a Right. So be sure to check out that single, that remix by Derek McKenzie of I Have a Right by Frank Savannah and Vanessa Jackson over on uh, for pay download on the official track source official website. 
And in another piece of very interesting upload media over onto YouTube, the official Jamiroquai uh, YouTube channel recently just uploaded nine very interesting sped up and slow down Jamiroquai mini videos um, that were confirmed to be mini videos that we could be used, that were created by Sony to be used by micro video users on platforms like TikTok, Reels, and many others for them to use to make their own little mini videos of a Jamiroquai uh, relation onto those micro video platforms. Um, both all of those nine sped up and slowed down mini videos have been uploaded on the official Jamiroquai YouTube channel, so be sure to check out the links below and check out those micro, 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 micro viral video videos over on the official Jamiroquai YouTube channel. In more Jamiroquai band member merchandise news, uh, Jamiroquai's own Matt Johnson, who had been alluding on his Instagram account about a new signature series keyboard coming out from the fine folks at Vintage Vibe, well, it's finally come out. Uh, the Matt Johnson Signature Edition VV keyboard, which Matt Johnson has one of and has done many performances of on his Instagram account and throughout his social media, that keyboard is currently available at the Vintage Vibe official website for any aspiring keyboardist, so be sure to go to the Vintage Vibe website and check out more details on getting your own Matt Johnson signature edition vv keyboard from vintage vibe also in a little bit of awesome reissue news uh, coming up for the years of 2020 late 2022 into 2023 i was able to divulge that uh, three new jamiroquai vinyl reissues will be forthcoming in the latter part of 2022 going into the early months of 2023 uh one of those albums I can note, for at least for the time being, will be a very sought-after, highly anticipated Jamiroquai uh, vinyl album release that n didn't get a wide release back in its release year of 2001, but this time we'll be finally getting a proper reissue on vinyl, and of course I'm talking about Jamiroquai's 2001 album, A Funk Odyssey, will be seeing a reissue, reissue sometime in late 2022 going into 2023. Be sure to keep your eyes on both of the subreddits on the online Jamily at rjamiroquai and rjamily for further details about these highly anticipated Paid new vinyl reissues from Jamiroquai and Sony Music. And a little bit of more information about more collaborations between, uh, or should I say, appearances by band members of Jamiroquai. Here are two more pieces of recent collaborative uh, production uh, work by the band members of Jamiroquai that I thought I'd note in this episode of the Quiecast. Uh, the artist Mayred recently uh, released a new EP and released a new single called I Don't Know, which was co-written and co-produced by Jamiroquai's own Nate Williams, who is a very extremely talented multi-instrumentalist and producer who's worked with a plethora of artists in the past. But I've um, I highly suggest that everybody in the jam go check out the new EP from Mayred and check out the new single, I Don't Want to Know. Very good music. And another bit of remix news, uh, Derek McKenzie of Jamiroquai showed up on a new Michael Gray remix of the single Dreamer by the band BB&Q Band with Derek McKenzie on drums. And that's it for all the news of the online jamly for the months of May through July of 2022. Links to all these news items mentioned in this episode of the QuietCast can be found down below in the posting and uploading of this episode of the QuietCast podcast for Episode 7 on Spotify, on Anchor FN, and of course on my YouTube channel as well. This is Jamirafan2000. I hope everyone is having a good summer, and I hope you're all not working too hard and scorching to death with this heat wave, but we're all going to hang in there, and hopefully there's going to be a lot of stuff happening with Jamiroquai coming up here in the fall and winter of 2022, and I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody in the Long Line family who have tolerated uh, a little bit of delays in some of my content on YouTube and uh, some of my content here on the QuietCast podcast. I've tried my darnest to bring you all the latest news, but like I said, lapses happen, delays happen, so I'm very happy that everybody in line jamly is still coming to the quiet pike the quiet cast podcast and of course all my jamiroquai minute uh, jamiroquai fan talks about and all my jamiroquai related video content over on my youtube channel so a massive thank you to everybody and i hope you all stay cool and i'll see you again really soon over on my youtube channel with nearly daily episodes of the latest jamiroquai news that comes out with the band members and of course the band jamiroquai and i'll see you here next time for another bi-monthly episode of the quiet cast podcast again thank you everyone for the thank you everyone for the support and i'll see you again really soon and have a great summer take care everyone